Howdy folks, Synthetic Mason here, and today we're going to break it up with Soundwave. That's right. Um, once again, going through some of the Transformers I built like over a year ago, uh, so that I can A, bring you guys new stuff, as well as um, I'm going to rebuild most of these guys because a lot of them suffer from parts for me. Sorry. Um, but yeah, so Soundwave here. Um, uh, yeah. <laughs> It's it's one of those things in Transformers. There are guys, characters, that uh, do this whole mass shifting. Like, you know, Soundwave and Megatron. Both of them are small handheld things that then transform into, like, a 40-foot tall robot. Makes sense. Totally. There's science behind it, I swear. Um, yeah. Nonetheless. Um, so this is Soundwave. Um, get me out of the way here. Uh, as you can see there, I got a few Cassetticons, um, by colors you can probably guess whom, um, but, uh, f we'll go through functions in alt mode first, um, cassette, 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 that's more or less what they do, uh, <laughs> yeah, nah, not a lot of action there, um, you know, in case you're one of those people that are, but, but Synthetic Mason, what, what's a cassette? Um, you, you, you need to be a little, you know, you, you need to know your history. Know where you came from. Pre-MP3, pre, um, whatever the new format is. Before CDs, there was cassettes. Before that, 8-tracks, records. And then all kinds of other stuff. Go to a museum. They should be on display. Um, ancient relics of the past history that man has brought forth. Uh, nonetheless... Uh, so yeah, cassette player. He's supposed to be like a Walkman. Um, I tried to cram as much detail as I could in there. Uh, belt clip. Yeah, because back in the day, people used to walk around with these things hanging off their belt. And then headphones to their head. Um, so a few things that I was going to change when I rebuild him is, for instance, there won't be these little holes. It was just the part that I had at the time. Um, I want to work out a way to have like a volume knob, um, fill in this gap here. Uh, the chest does open, um, but you'll notice what's inside of there. Uh, what's inside of there is filler. It's supposed to look like tape sort of thing. Um, because a little cassette goes in, check that out, literally functions to the way it's supposed to. I mean, if you're going to do a sound wave, you should be able to put your tapes in sound wave. Because um, that's like the beauty of it. Um, unfortunately, um, because there's a big debate, I'm just going to say that this is rumble. Um, yeah, this is rumble. Deal with it. Uh, everybody's like, no, that's the other one. And I... Currently, at the moment, haven't have haven't had enough coffee this morning to recall. Frenzy, hey, there it is. Yeah, frenzy and rumble. Uh, so that's for rumble or Rumsey. <laughs> Anyways, um, so we're gonna transform the cassetticons first, and then we'll go to Mr. Soundwave there. Um, I did say there was a little parts forming here. Sorry. Uh, once again, these are bots I'm going to redo later on. Uh, so for starters, let's do Ravage. Um, I should probably do that on camera. Uh, you're going to bring down the front legs. And then you'll bring down the back legs. And then I have a little... Oops. A little noggin to put on him and then his little missile packs check that out right all right on to frenzy rumble um, bring up the sides for arms bring down the bottom for legs Come on, 
Stand up for me, just so I can prove that you can do it. No, he's not going to do it. Once I put the parts on, you'll stand. But, like, there's his head, and you can leave him in that mode. Or, because, for me, those big old pounder arms that he had were really what, like, made him. He's got his pounder arms. Yeah. Yeah. And then the very first one I made, which I actually made this guy before I made Soundwave, because even though Laserbeak goes to Soundwave, I, I when I made my Megatron, I had to have a Laserbeak sit on the sound or uh, sit on his arm. So we'll clip on little legs, and then his backpack head assembly. And there you go. Yeah, so those are my Cassetticons. On to the main event. So as I showed you, his, uh, uh -oh. yeah. his chest does open. Um, button doesn't function. Uh, but yeah, not a lot of uh, motion going on there. Um, I need to figure out a way to make his soon-to-become legs attach better. But nonetheless... So, for transformation, or to bring down said legs, and then thumbnail to get the feet out. Eh. Bring around the arms. Now, the reason that I had. Uh -oh. Yeah, that little chest plate piece is because in bot mode, he's got this big gaping hole. So you put that in there, and then it... Let's straighten up this camera situation. There's bricks going everywhere. Camera up. Ta-da. So like I said... Most of my bots suffer from hands and heads. Bring those accessories here. Put his hands on. Which, these are the same hands I did for both Megatron and my Optimus. They work out pretty good. Um, you'll notice one has, like, the finger for the trigger. So we've got... Uh, oh, this is another thing. Uh, when I rebuild him, I'm going to make means for his battery weapons to actually fit inside of him in his alt mode. No! And the shoulder gun. And then... Noggin. Soundwave is superior. Autobots are inferior. My hand broke. Come on, man. Play nice. No, you're a bad guy, but damn. Uh, stand. We can do this. Yeah. Not bad, right? And then, of course, we can... Uh, get a little laser beak on the shoulder here. I'm gonna keep the gun up. Ugh. Like I said, he's gonna get rebuilt. Um, but I wanted to show you guys this. Um, I still have like a Jazz, uh, Starscream, and I want to say maybe another. But yeah, kind of gives you an idea. So yeah, folks. This has been Synthetic Mason. I know my name. Um, Soundwave. Shake your camera because it's kind of off the screen. Um, but yeah. Um, by all means. Uh, he's got his flaws. So in the comments below, if you'd like to butcher him. Uh, or tell me how much better 30 other people's uh, sound waves are. It's fine. Um, mostly I was just really proud of that head. I mean, check that out. Right? 
Um, nonetheless, so yeah, folks, um, if you do like this, go ahead and let me know by pushing that little like button. Um, you can always uh, subscribe. That way, uh, you know, you'll see my videos as soon as I put them out there. And by all means, leave comments. I want to know what you guys think, as well as soon, uh, once I get through all of these older Transformers, um, if there's a Transformer you'd like to see me build, let me know. Um, I'm always down for a challenge. Um, so some... Seems like the teasers are fun. So a few other things real quick before I get out of here. I got a uh, kickback that's coming soon. Um, not a Transformer. And I'm sorry, a motorcycle. <laughs> but I got a Psykill. Um, and it doesn't look like much else in my grasp. Uh, there is a... Well of Sparks challenge. Ecto-2 from the real Ghostbusters. Anybody notice that? Yeah. Also notice some ball joints for no reason. Wonder what's that all, what that's all about. Mm -hmm. um, so thanks for watching, folks. Uh, yeah, why not? Okay, last part. So remember my little Megatron gun? Yeah. So how not... Or how... Uh, Unfortunate would it be if I could not put Megatron in Mr. Soundwave's hand here because that's iconic and cool as all kinds of cool. Bam! Check that out. Too bad he can't hold it. Well, he can hold it, but his elbow's not going to work. But yeah. <laughs> so thanks for watching my disaster. I uh, appreciate it, folks. Um, more on the way. Uh, just for kicks, I'm going to try and hammer out another one in a minute. Um, who knows? It might be more put together than this one. <laughs> Thanks for watching.